Android has evolved a lot when it comes to the user interface and it has become more beautiful. But there are people who cannot stick to the same interface over a long period of time. Thankfully, there are plenty of apps that revamp the Android screen. Launchers as the, these home screen replacement apps are easy to use and brings ton of customization options. Keeping all these points in mind, we are here with the top 3 launchers on Google Play Store. What's up guys, this is Ronak from tip to tech and in this video we are gonna talk about the top 3 launchers that you can use to customize your Android phone. The first one in our list is the Nova launcher. The Nova launcher has been here since a long time and it has made sure that it remains relevant. It brings a stock interface but there are tons of customization options to play with. There's an ability to customize the animations, icons, app drawers, widgets grid layout along with other handy features like gestures that comes in premium version, the icon pack support, the backup and restore support that's the best, one of the best feature of this launcher and there are much plenty of features. Along with the features, Nova launcher is fast and fluid and while testing it we did not feel any lag at all. The app is available in a free version as well as a prime version which brings gestures, unread count pages, icon swipes, more scroll effects ability to hide apps and much more. If you like customizing everything about your Android home screen, you should definitely get the Nova launcher. Then the second in our list is the Apex launcher. Apex launcher is similar, much similar to Nova as it brings a stock interface but lets you customize it to the core. Firstly, there are tons of themes to choose from like Ubuntu, Minimal, TouchWiz, Sense and more. There's an ability to change the home screen grids, margins between apps, icon scale, scrolling, transition effects and much more. It not only lets you change the lock screen but also the app drawer, dock, folders and their behavior as well. Like Nova, it lets you backup and restore your settings. It is available in a free version as well as a pro version which brings more of everything, more draw actions, more gestures, more effects etc. The best thing about Apex is its ability to run smooth and fluid even after tons of customization. So that was all about Apex Launcher. The third one in our list is the Go Launcher. Go Launcher brings all the features you expect in a powerful launcher app. The launcher brings tons of free and paid themes, wallpapers, app center which features various apps and games. There are options to change dock settings, indicators, grid size, transition effects, icons, font etc along with additional features like gestures, app lock, backup and restore and a notification toggle. While Go Launcher is available in an ad supported free version, there are various paid versions Prime, SVIP and VIP. The Prime version brings side dock, wallpaper filters, more effects, security lock, more gestures and remove ads. So guys, these were the top 3 launchers that we tested personally and there are not many bugs and they were almost not to say fully free of ads but they were almost free of ads and uh, we would suggest you to use these three launchers if you are a kind of guy who cannot stick to the interface provided by the company as the user interface we get with the like the material design ui of lollipop and the monotonous interface that we, it feels boring here yeah so you can use these launchers and just customize your phone. There are many more launchers on Google Play Store. You can also try one of them, but these were the top that we selected. We will be back with more videos related to icon packs, the best wallpapers, the ringtones, etc, etc. So for that, stay tuned to our channel. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Give this a huge thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any queries or questions. Do hit the subscribe button and press that notification bell. So whenever we upload a video, you never miss them. So that's me Ronak signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Till then, keep exploring.